Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. Whatever. Ah. We go from cold to warm. Oh yes, you want to hop up. Gus knows when he's got his little lap blanket. Come on, come up and say hello. Yeah. Up. Come on. Yeah, there you go. And inevitably when he's running around here in the garden, he's got dirty feet. Is that right? Yes, it is. You have dirty feet? Have you been looking for rabbits? Where'd it go? Yeah. Look at that. <clears throat> Always have one side marked. Because he can be absolutely filthy. Filthy, filthy, filthy. <laughs> Cheers. What's that on my glass? Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Cheers. Propagation. With what? Well, you can start out with seed. Like this lickness was very, very fine seed. That's a white lickness. Haven't planted it yet. Gotta do that. Let's get that out of the way. Or you can always do the water culture, which works really well. Now it's taped, is it? Yeah, you, you can see them in there. Little ones, little African violets. Is that better? Ha ha. Now you can see them. Little African violets. Yep, the leaves die off. I had marked them. The only reason the tape is there is to hold the leaf in place so it didn't fall through the hole. Ooh, that one even has, even has uh, growths on it. So, you've got seed, you've got cuttings like these, and you can do them in, the cuttings in many ways. These are just laid on the surface of potty mix, keep them dry, or dry, keep them damp, but not waterlogged. And this one, Vino, is actually going to put out a flower so I'll know what it looks like. Then I'll take the flower off almost straight away because it'll be potted up in fresh mix. So we've got cuttings, seed, there's a basil. You can actually buy these little bricks with the seed already in them. But just get a little, get a punch or two or three and sprinkle the seed lightly. Some people will actually cover it with a very, very thin layer of very fine uh, potting or uh, propagating sand. Okay, here's a cutting that's going to get potted up. So the water culture works. I don't know if you can see that really well. Let's stand closer so the camera will focus. Stupid thing. Yep, this is a bleeding heart. Whatever the botanical name is, I don't know. I've got a label around somewhere. So I'm going to build a build a climbing frame similar to this, which came with my Queen of the Night, but uh, I'll do it a little bit better with a really nice piece of black bamboo. Now, things to help with the propagation: plant hormone rooting powder. I like to use a paintbrush, the same paintbrush that I use for the cinnamon, so that I'm not actually dipping the plants in the, uh, the powder. Because you can get all kinds of crap in there. That doesn't help. That doesn't help at all. So, plant powder, hormone rooting powder. You can get different grades of uh, a liquid. It's sort of like... Uh, a gel. I don't know if you can see that. Some of them come. Some of them are a bit thicker than others. I usually put this into uh, the cap from a, a soft drink bottle or something, just a little bit, and then dip the cuttings in that. Okay, divisions. Orchids. There you can actually see the rooted sections there. They oftentimes put out kickings. Or sometimes they'll put out growths from the side. 
from the base. Let's see, can we see one? I think this other one's a better, a better example. There it is. They'll put up little, little side growths. And when they're large enough, you can divide them. But I like to have them fairly substantial because there's nothing quite like a specimen to really, really turn, turn an eye. Okay. Now, this was a cutting from a zygo cactus. It's now been in there, uh, oh, one year. St. Charles. It's going to be a really lovely deep pinkish purple. Okay. And then you get surprises. Spores. Ferns have spores. Oh, we've got these other little ones coming up in here. And I just put this little soft drink container. Orange juice, actually. On the bottom of it. So that when I water. Get that around when I water, the water stays in there a little bit and is soaked up by the manfern round. Okay. Elkhorn. Elkhorns put up pups. Staghorns don't. Staghorns have a larger mantle, shield, whatever you want to call them. There is a botanical name for them. I don't know. And that shield just gets larger and larger and larger each year. And underneath the leaf, you'll see this brown dust specks. That's the spore. And you need a sterilized potting mix, something really open in that. Put it in a baking tray in the oven. At uh, just anything above um, boiling temperature. Actually, you leave it sterilized down to about 80, 80 90 degrees. Some people will put it in a plastic bag and bun it in a microwave. Okay, sterilize medium, put the spores over the surface, actually just lay the leaf with the brown side down on the potting mix, cover it in with glad wrap or a plastic cover, like these. Get those out of the way, stupid reading glasses. Okay. If this is sterilized potting mix, I could take the frond from a fern, lay it across the top. Oh, I love it. Oh, I just love it. Plastic. Not all of it is biodegradable. When you see one that's been hanging around like this for so long, guaranteed, it's plastic. They slow release fertilizer. But these little, uh, ooh, ooh, what's on that one? There it is. Can you see that? I just lay them on the surface. Now, here's one that's rotted. You see, that one is just completely gone. Yep. There's actually too much water in there, so I'm going to leave this open for a while. String of pearl. Oh, no, no, I, some other succulent cacti thingy is here. Yeah, it's too wet. Too wet. We'll leave that open. Put that out of the way. Put the lid open. That'll be fine. Just fine. Okay. So you've got cuttings. Well, first off, seed, cuttings, divisions. Propagating. Some some grow, some don't. Like some of the string of pearls. They rot, but they're too wet. So keep them damp but not soggy. Although, remember, some will grow well in water culture, but they still need plenty of air. It's only about a third water. Change the water every now and then. You don't want, you don't want it to smell. If you, if you sniff at it and it's on the nose, not nice. Okay. 
propagating. I'm going to put this, clear this aside, and I'm going to do some potting. Okay, see you next time. Cheers, Wayne's Weird World.